Hello. If you can read cursive writing, then congratulations. You're part of what's becoming a rare breed in the US. As of 2011, more than 40 states have discontinued the teaching of cursive in core education. Why? Because many people think it's more important to teach children how to type on computers instead. Who can blame them for thinking that, right? But what does this mean? Well, it means that children will grow up unable to read anything written in cursive. And that might include those letters that their grandparents wrote to each other 50 years ago, or even the US Constitution, because that too was written in cursive. Now, let's take this cursive problem, the structure of this problem, and let's move it to East Asia. Instead of saying cursive in America, we're going to say Chinese characters shown in red circles and Korea. You see, Korea and Japan have been using Chinese characters for a very long time, for almost a thousand years. But recently that's changed. In 1930s, both the Japanese and the Koreans wrote in Chinese characters. But nowadays in contemporary time, only the Japanese continue to do so, and the Koreans barely recognize any Chinese characters. In Korea, the elimination of Chinese characters has usually been regarded as a patriotic movement. Although scholars do continue to argue today whether this really should be regarded as patriotic. Now my research and my goal is to figure out how the writing evolution of Korea, which was prompted by the government, moved or changed the way in which Koreans take pride in their country. It might be difficult for you to relate, but Koreans of today have a very difficult time trying to decipher what was in the text written, thank you, um, written before World War II. This inability to read Chinese characters leads to a disconnect to history because it creates, or rather, it denies them the access to direct historical knowledge. And this disconnect, disengagement with history could lead to delusion of history. That is very dangerous because it falsifies the image of a nation to its people. After all, it's very important for us to distinguish between patriots and nationalists. Because, not, because although not always perceptible of the very same thing, they can also paint very different pictures. Thank you for your time.